Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome to my channel. As you may have seen, I have done a video on my new gaming laptop, the Asus TUF A17 gaming laptop. Now this is the Ryzen 7 gaming laptop. So I've had quite a lot of questions regarding the performance of it. So I thought I would do some benchmark tests and show some in-game action, just so you can sort of see uh, what kind of frame rates I'm getting and uh, how it stands in a benchmark compared to my desktop. Uh, you might also notice uh, this uh, is a new webcam. Uh, so my Friday night quizzes uh, on my other channel, uh, link below, will be uh, hopefully in much better quality. Okay, so I thought we'd just dive in very quickly and go over the specs again. So it's got a AMD Ryzen 7 uh, 4800H processor. Some versions come with the Ryzen 5 4600H. It comes with Windows 10 Home, and this model has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200MHz SD RAM. Some versions are slightly different. You can put up to 32 gig in. The display is a 17.3 inch LED backlit full HD monitor. It's also 60 or 120 hertz. This is a 120 hertz monitor. It comes with a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti, uh, 6 gigab uh, gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM. Some versions have other graphics cards as well. Um, this version comes with a 1 terabyte uh, PCIe M.2. SSD, NVMe, very fast. Uh, it's got a chicken keyboard with isolated numpad keys. Uh, it's got a HD 720p webcam. I'm not too keen on the quality, but you can see that in the review. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi 5. I don't know why they've not put Wi-Fi 6 in. Um, but that's what it's got. So it's got Bluetooth 5 as well, but that may change with OS upgrades. It's, uh, it comes with a 90 watt hour or a 48 watt hour battery. Unfortunately, mine is the 48 watt hour battery. You've got to be really careful because I was missold mine. You potentially can upgrade the battery though uh, by taking out the hard drive caddy. I have ordered a battery, but it might take a couple of weeks to arrive. So I'll do a video on that if it works. It weighs about 2.6 kilograms um, and comes with uh, various security features. Um, it's a 20 volt power supply, uh, 180 watts, uh, so quite beefy. It comes with an audio jack, two USB 2.3.2 uh, Gen 1 ports, and one Type A USB 2 port for some strange reason. Uh, one AC power plug, one USB C USB 3.2 Gen 2 port. Uh, which supports DisplayPort 1.4, a uh, LAN port, HDMI port, which supports HDMI 2.0b. Um, the colours, uh, as you can see here, are not spot on. It's not a photography laptop, it's a gaming laptop. They've gone for the refresh rate, so these are the figures, 64% sRGB. It's not the end of the world. These are some of the benchmarks that I did with Passmark. So as you can see, it is really good uh, compared to the desktop in terms of CPU power. Um, now the bit that comes down is the 2D graphics mark and that's because it's using the built-in GPU, the one built into the Ryzen 7 to reduce the amount of power. So that's why it gets a lower mark on that one. Everything else, apart from the disk, is much higher than my desktop. And that's because I've got a very powerful SSD in my desktop. So for a gaming laptop, this is really quite incredible results. And here you can see the Cinebench benchmark test. This is release 20. You can see that the desktop performs considerably worse than the laptop in all tests, even on single core. So this is obviously quite a good CPU given that it's running on a laptop and it will be underclocked due to thermal due to that. Here we can see the 3D Mark benchmark running Time Spy. Again, we can see that the CPU score on the laptop is considerably better than the desktop. However, the desktop does 
perform slightly better in uh, graphical situations than the laptop. The laptop has a 1660 Ti, my desktop has a desktop version of a 1076 gig card. So they're fairly similar graphics, but the desktop still clearly has a little bit of an edge when it comes to graphics. The CPU score is still amazing and it is lovely when it comes to rendering videos. As for the Premiere Pro render time of a, a comparison between my desktop and my laptop, both processing the same video, you can see on the top we've got the HD versions and on the bottom we've got the 4K versions. So we're just having a look at the gaming performance here, playing Overwatch on the test center. So as you can see, generally the laptop actually performs uh, peak FPS better than the desktop. However, what I've noticed is when there's a lot of action, the laptop can sometimes dip for a few seconds, whereas the desktop running the 1070 Ti will perform fairly stable over the whole game and you won't notice any drops in, in FPS. That being said, it is still a really powerful laptop and if you drop your settings a bit, you don't really notice too much of a problem. I've not noticed it getting hot. I've been able to play games on it all day long and it's been perfectly fine for me. There have been some people that have noticed problems uh, with the thermals and the cooling of the laptop. I've not had these issues. I've not had it running more than sort of 80 degrees whilst playing games on a 4K monitor. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified about more videos. Um, if there's anything you'd like me to uh, do, uh, I might do a, a sort of breakdown of how to upgrade parts on the laptop. If you can think of anything else that you'd find useful, please do let me know in the comments below.